What's up everybody? This is Darren with B&H Railroads. Well, today I wanted to kind of go over how I do my uh, cork roadbed for my turnouts. And hopefully this can help a couple guys and gals out that are uh, trying to figure out how to lay them and everything. So what I'll do is I've already got this section in and I know where exactly my turnout's going to go. And what I did is I laid it down and I marked the outer edges on both ends. And then I marked on all three sections of uh, the entry and then the two exit points, we'll call them, well, the main and the diverging route. I went ahead and I marked a center line. And that's where my cork will go. I'll lay the main route first. I'll do that now. Get some glue on this thing. Lay it down real quick. And what I've done is I've uh, kind of went and pre-cut everything. And uh, I've got everything ready to go, but it's, it's very simple. And I'll even show you how to cut the pieces. And not saying that you guys don't know how to cut cork, because I know we all do, but... When it comes to laying them in between the turnouts for the inside pieces of corks, they can sometimes be tricky. So all I did was I followed my center line. So that's my center line there on the back end. And then that's my center line on the front end there. And so then we're going to lay the outside cork road bed for the diverging route. Just putting some glue on. Getting that ready. And I had it right the first time, but then flipped it around. So then that piece will flip right up. With the entry of the turnout for that center line. And then everything sits in there. So then what I do is I place my turnout just to make sure that everything is to my liking. And then I just adjust there. So what I usually do next is I'll start with the inside of the main route. And what you want to do is if you have a full piece, you'll come all the way up like so on the inside to where this flush side meets up with it all the way back. And then all you have to do is once you get it to where you want it, is come in here. Mark it there. And then find where it shows, you can see the center line there, and then just mark it, and then cut it. So, some glue down real quick. It's pretty easy. I've seen a lot of people get frustrated, or even get uh, nervous, when uh, doing this. And there's really nothing to get nervous, and I was in the same boat when I first started out. You know, I was like, wow, there's no way I can do that. But you, you quickly learn. And there's really no right or wrong way to do it. it there really isn't. So, setting that up again. All right. All right, so that's perfect. And I've got my mark here on the back side of the um, sub road bed to kind of give me an idea of exactly where it begins and ends because I had it actually transferred on the top of it, but I also realized as soon as I laid the cork down, I would lose that. So now what we're doing is laying that last piece here for the diversion route for the inside cork. And 
that's kind of what it will look like. All right. So the center line, which I did on all three ends, I have I have a touch of the marker on on the ties, so I'll know. And then each of those center lines will match up with the center line of the cork road bed, and that's pretty much it. Now you do have a little bit of a gap here and a little bit of gap there. You can cut those pieces and actually make them fit. Like I could trim this off a little bit more or even sand it. Same thing with this one. I could actually set that in there and then compress it back together like so. And that doesn't mess anything up. Well, it'd help if I put everything back to square where it needs to be. So there you go. And that's pretty much it. And then once by the time you get your track laid, you know, you come in there. Of course, I'm at an angle, so. And then that's pretty much, pretty much it. So everything is nice and uniformed. You'll get the same over here. And I'm real particular when I lay my uh, roadbed and my track. Um, unless I want it to look like it's been abandoned or really used and just not maintained. I will take, a lot of times I'll take that ruler, come in here and I'll straight edge. And I'm really, I guess the anal is the word to use, but I, I just, I like clean track work. And I've got to have the same amount of distance or spacing, I should say. To the outer edge and you can eyeball it and that's what i usually do like right there i know it wasn't right there it'd be good so kind of rambling now which is never a good thing but anyway that's how i do it it works out easily um when you cut these pieces it doesn't matter which side you start with whichever side you're comfortable with and that's the biggest thing i'm comfortable with always starting on the main route and then I'll go over to the diverging route, and then I'll add all of that in. And that's pretty much it. All right. All right. Here's a little close up view of how it looks. And that's a little gap there, but that will be uh, covered up as you ballast and just a little bit of a gap back there. Probably could squeeze that out of it if I really wanted to, which I'll probably put a tack or two there. But. See if I can't do this for you guys real quick while I'm uh, holding the phone. So that's pretty much it there. And then by time you add your tracks, everything blends in. Everything's level, or not level, centered. So as you can see, maybe I got a center mark right there and a center mark right there. So just adjust a little bit and boom. We've got it. So there we have it. It's in, ready to go. And then, of course, this is the line that's going to go to the coal mine. All right. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I will have information coming up about my contest for the 500 subscriber mark. That's coming up very soon. Probably going to be tied in with my layout update video, which I have a lot to go over. So be ready for that. Get the popcorn ready um, and look for that for the next couple days. Probably Tuesday I'll have that out. Um, I just haven't had a lot of time to really get out here and do what I wanted. But I wanted to make this little video while I was laying some track um, or some cork for the track. So... Hopefully you guys found this uh, helpful. Hope everybody's doing well, and I uh, will talk to you guys and gals soon. Thanks for watching.